going to ribs. Uh, Moon Dogs left me at a damn little store in Missouri one time. We been up drinking all night. Then we didn't even sleep. And, you know, I got the shits and had to stop every damn day. It was a damn spot. He said, we going to make the fucking town. I said, man, one more time, man. Come on. I said, I'm going to shit back here in your van. So he pulled over. I come out. They fucking gone. I mean, they stayed gone like a half hour and shit. He's like, bitch, you ain't got to stop shit no more. I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was coming back from Florida one time. Wasn't a rib, but I was coming back from Florida. Had Gene Gordon with me, a photographer back in the days in the magazines. And just crossed the Georgia line. Stopped in the rest area. And uh, I went in there. To, I said, I'm just going to piss. And so I go in there. And there's like four or five guys in there, and there's this dead motherfucker. They putting him in a fucking garbage bag. So knowing how to work saved my life, because hell, I seen that shit, seen the blood and all that shit. So hell, I just went into my damn I'm drunk routine and shit, and I, they, they all looked and I said, ah, he's had more to drink than me, ain't he? And just laughed and shit. I went over and pissed and shit and come out, and they peeked a little bit, and I got in the car, you know, damn... The photographer was gone. And he walked with a limp anyways. I had the car running and shit, and here he comes. As soon as he gets in, I take off, pull out, and I'm going 100 miles an hour down the road to get away. Well, these people started chasing me and shit. So I said, let me make it to the damn light. So I said, they're they going to kill me. They're going to do it in front of fucking somebody. So take the damn exit. And I said, hell, let's go in here. And I said, damn, I said, you see that shit? He said, oh, I've seen all them people in there. I said, yeah, that motherfucker was dead. He said, <laughs> so it's funny now. He says, uh, oh, I thought you was just driving fast to make up time from the piss stop. <laughs> no, nah, I was saving a life. <laughs> and then a couple of days later, we home. Gene calls me and he says, man, that shit was on the news. He said, uh, well, I was telling him. And when we stopped me to IHOP or whatever, so we stared at the damn sun. I told him all that shit. And he said, we should call the law. I said, you fucking nuts, man. I said, here I am, my beard's out like this, cuts all over my head. And you limping around. We look like two oddballs and shit. I said, we call them and say there's a damn body down here at the rest area. I said, they can fucking hold us. Where they charge us, not. they can hold us for two or three fucking days. I said, you ain't calling no damn body. We got back home. He said, yeah, that was a drug, drug-related drug murder. It was all over the news. Yeah, I don't remember nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking nuts. And then one night, me and Manny was in a bar in Greensboro. I'm sitting at the damn bar. Somebody taps me and says, look. I turn around. Manny's slugging it out with two black guys. Hell, I go over there. Here comes six more, like eight of them. So, hell, I stand there beside of them. Hell, damn, everybody comes out. Anyway, they leave. So, we stand there about an hour or so. We go out. I said, yeah, there's some guys sitting over that damn car. He's in like an Explorer or some kind of shit. And uh, so I pull out. And I said, they found us down the interstate. Man, he said, where's your guns? I give him my gun. I said, they flying up on us. Boom, they started shooting. I had a little Mercedes. I mean, they shot every fucking wind out of it. And you got two 300-pound guys in a little Mercedes convertible thing. And yeah, I thought I got shot bleeding like hell. Just got hit with shrapnel and shit like that. And uh, so I gave Manny my damn gun. It was already caught. He went to cock it that jammed this shit. I said, it was already caught. Just take the safety off. And it fucking didn't work and shit. So I said, damn, somebody calls a damn law and shit. And he, he thinks I'm shot. He's having a damn fit. He calls the damn uh, club. Says, who's them fucking guys left with that girl? They just shot us and all that shit. And the cops finally come. And they said, well, they said, man, he was telling me, said, yeah, so they just shot our car up and shit. Luckily, I believe they hit my boy here and all that shit. Right off the bat, they damn, they start on, well, why did, what did they do it for? I said, well, we got to fight with a bar. They said, what for, a bad drug deal or something? Oh, man, he went the hell off. He said, why don't you go eat some more donuts, motherfuckers? Oh, he went off. And now we joke about it now, but I mean, it. And, if, and even to this day, when I'm driving at night and somebody comes to pass me, I go to squint, uh, scrunch down a little bit. But now we joke about it, man. says, yeah, so them motherfuckers couldn't sh shoot shit, could they? Bad shot motherfuckers, you know. <laughs> but wasn't funny then. <laughs>